Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. If you're watching this, there is a good chance that you've made some FaceTime calls, either audio or video at some point. Over the course of the last few iOS updates, there have been some improvements to FaceTime and I wanted to spend a few minutes this week just consolidating them for you because a lot of them do tend to go unnoticed. And some of them, like reactions, well, they're supposed to be noticed. So let's check them out. First, let's take a look at the FaceTime app as you open it. So we've got two large buttons at the top here. On the left, we have create link, which is kind of new. And I'm going to look at this shortly because I've actually got another phone set up on the other side of the office. It's going to be used to create a link to this particular phone. So we can see, hopefully, how to join a call from a link. Then to the right of that, there is a new FaceTime button that allows you to pick a contact to call. Below that, we have our call history. We can see that I've called Barry, Lilia, JF recently. And then if you tap on the information button on the right of a contact here, you're taken to their contact info where you can also initiate a FaceTime call from there. If I tap on new FaceTime, I can pick one of these suggested contacts. Then down here we have an audio button because despite the name FaceTime is not video only, you can have just an audio call using FaceTime, which can be clearer and cheaper than a cell call. Or of course, you can tap here for a video one. If you want to have multiple people in the FaceTime call, turning it into more of a group one, then tap on the plus here. Then you can add more recipients as you like. Okay, let's cancel. Because I don't actually use the FaceTime app to initiate a call, more often than not, I will just invoke Spotlight on my phone, type in the name of the contact. This gives me immediate options for video call, for messaging or audio call. Now let's do a video call to Barry because his phone is actually off at the moment. So I'm just giving him a call now. And unfortunately, Barry's phone's off, it's unavailable. So what I can actually do now with one of the latest updates to iOS is record him a video. So let's do that. You can see we've got a countdown coming down here. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi Barry, my name is me. Um, yeah, just need you to get back hold of me if you can. So give me a call, speak to you in a bit, bye. Now with that message done, it's not actually being sent. I can re-record it by tapping retake in the bottom right hand corner. I can play it back to double check I'm happy with it. But when I'm happy, I can tap here on the arrow to send. Then when I've done that, I need to go over to Barry's phone, turn it on, and then we'll take a look at what he sees on his side. Okay, the phone owned by myself, Lee, that made the call is on the left, and Barry's phone, which should have received the video message, is on the right. Now I'll tap on FaceTime because there is a badge with the number two, which should mean one missed call and one voice message. And that's exactly what we have. So there is a link to the video here, which if I tap, gives me access to the video with some buttons around to do various things and a play button in the center. So I'll tap, it's gonna play it. Now I'm not capturing audio on that device. You can't hear it. Um, I can tap and scrub through here if it's a long video. If I wanna keep this, I can save it. I can message them back or FaceTime them again from the bottom of the screen, or I can tap here to come back. 